All right, BBM. If there was one thing I could do to somebody, it would teach them how to use a bag. Everything can be used, everything can be done with a bag. Okay, you can, you can make BiPAP, you can make CPAP, you can do everything with a bag that you need to. Bagging is great. Bagging is hard. Bagging is dead hard. Okay, the ability to form a seal and bag. The seal takes two of my hands. I've been doing it for a couple of years. It takes two hands as hard as I can get, and I can only do it for a, maybe a minute or two before my hands get too tired to actually hold that mask on, which means I've got to have somebody else squeeze the bag. It takes three hands to effectively bag. Now, if you have somebody in respiratory distress, and I've done this on countless occasions, you can actually bag them up if you bag with them. If you splint their respirations like BiPAP, you can actually set their, uh, you can actually increase their expiratory positive pressure, and you can actually increase, you can, de you can unload their inspiratory effort by bagging them, and then give them a little bit of resistance to blow out again, and you just created BiPAP with a bag. Bagging is essential. Bagging is very difficult. You can add adjuncts to bagging, but don't add an adjunct if you're getting away with it. All right, this is BiPAP. This is actually CPAP, okay? CPAP is, it's a constant pressure. CPAP is a constant pressure. CPAP sucks because it's all it's doing is increasing the pressure that I need to blow out, okay? It will get you, it will buy you some things in some situations, like CHF, it's pretty good because that increased intrathoracic pressure decreases preload and actually increases the efficiency of my left ventricle by decreasing preload by increasing my intrathoracic pressure. Checking? CPAP works that way. It can also kind of squeeze, increase your alveolar pressure, theoretically you could, and, and squeeze your capillary uh, veins and, and, and squeeze out some of that pleural effusion, theoretically. I don't think that that's really the, a valid, it could be. I'm sure Terry Coulter tomorrow will be able to provide you a little bit more information about that. BiPAP is the cat's meow, man. BiPAP is awesome because it provides increased force, it unloads your muscular contractility, it helps you breathe, in addition to providing that expiratory resistance that decreases your preload, that makes it easier for you to breathe. BiPAP is awesome. BiPAP is awesome. We use it all the time. I would put BiPAP on every ambulance. You guys should use BiPAP. The Save 2 ventilator can do BiPAP. You can do it. It takes a trick, but you can do it. Okay, normal breathing. CPAP, BiPAP. Get in there and see every person that's on BiPAP. See how it's set up. Make sure that you can do it on your own. For us, we're working on, you can, if you hook a BVM, if you use this mask, we can use this mask, it's on our CPAP uh, kit, and you take the, the uh, accordion hose with a 22 millimeter adapter and attach it to the BVM, you can make BiPAP. You don't have to just hook it up to the CPAP. You can make BiPAP. You have to have a little adapter about this big. You just hook it up to the BBM and you breathe with them. You gotta watch them, but you can breathe them and you can make BiPAP. <sighs> Things you have to be able to do to do BiPAP. The person has to be awake. I had a, we used to have the full face mask for BiPAP and I saw that I put this old guy on BiPAP one time, walked back in, I walked out, walked back into the room and he's looking at me over the top of his puke. <laughs> Very bad. Very bad. Okay? It doesn't work if they're not able to follow commands. It doesn't work if they're in obvious respiratory distress. It doesn't work if they're breathing more than 25 breaths a minute. Okay? It doesn't work if their pulse ox is super crappy. Super crappy. If they need to just go on a vent, BiPAP has improved patients, but it has not reduced the number of people who get intubated. That's a very, very important finding. CPAP, I think, does improve patients clinically. However, it has not resulted in a reduction in the number of patients who get intubated. It's an important, important distinction. Uh, if they have an altered mental status, if you can't fit a mask on their face because they got a big beard, 
if they're hypotensive, why couldn't you use this if they were hypotensive? Because that increased intrathoracic pressure and decreases preload, decreases cardiac output, if they're already hypotensive, I just, de I just made them more hypotensive. And you'll see that. You'll see people that are slightly hypertensive get put on BiPAP, and you'll see about a 20 to 30 hit point hit on their pressure. And then recent GI surgery because you'll pop their guts, which really sucks. <laughs>